Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is a love reading to look at your current emotional or love situation, what your heart needs right now, how you can give your heart what it needs, who may have a message of love or an emotional message for you, what that message is and what's ahead for love for you. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces viewers and subscribers of this channel in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces need for their soul's journey at the time they view this video. Okay, feel the energy of the cards, couple more shuffles here. Let's get it mixed up right here. All right, here we go, Pisces. Let's see what spirit has for you regarding love right now. So the current love or emotional situation you may find, find yourself in is the Queen of Wands. This is people being very attracted to you. You are being admired by many people. Um, this is a highly attractive, highly um, desired energy. And people, you'll, you may find people reaching out to you. You might notice people looking at you um, interestingly. <laughs> um, but definitely people are seeing your passion, seeing your drive, and are definitely drawn to you right now. What does your heart need right now? The five of wands. So it's interesting, typically in the five of wands, it's about fives are change and wands are passionate. So in a typical rider weight, five of wands is speaks to strife, conflict, and it can be competition. So we do see that you may be very much surrounded um, by a number of different suitors or a lot of different options coming towards you in a very passionate manner but you're just really wanting a peace with the signs of these lilies here. That's really wanting to have something that's that's true and pure and peaceful for your heart right now. And how can you give your heart what it needs? The tower. So this is, you know, an aha moment. This is sudden unexpected change. This is maybe doing something that is out of the box for you. We'll see what this is in a moment, but how you can give your heart what it needs is you might even need like a shock to your heart, right? Something different than what you've experienced. A, a, a marked change from the normal experiences you've been having emotionally. Who has a, who may have a message of love for you today? We have the three of swords. The swords are air energy, but here I'm feeling as though this is somebody who has either hurt you or is hurt. Um, not necessarily from you, but who has gone through some type of pain, loss, or suffering. Um, I just heard they could have lost a family member recently or just dealing with their own diverse circumstances. We'll get more information on this in a second as well. But they're definitely somebody who's been going through a period of mourning, a period of suffering, just really dealing with the darker days. What is the message this person has? Seven of Wands. They're wanting to be courageous, wanting to come forward, wanting to have strength. But right now it seems as though they have been, in fact, so overwhelmed by the heartache and pain and loss that, you know, it's it's been hard for them to come forward. But here we do, in fact, see that they may, in fact, want to speak their truth and come forward in a very courageous manner towards you. And what might be ahead for Pisces in love? Eight of Wands. There's This is change. This is Cupid's love arrows as well. So the Eight of Wands speaks of fast-moving change, Cupid's love arrows, communication. Um, we'll get more clarification for that in a moment as well. So let's dive in and see what Spirit wants you to know about this Queen of Wands for the current emotional or love situation. Spirit, and the Queen of Wands is also feminine fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, spirit. What do you want Pisces to know about this queen of wands for the current love or emotional situation? And we have the magician. Okay. And the 10 of cups. Yeah. So you're definitely in, you're in your feels, you're in your power, you're in your, your beauty. You're, you're really radiant right now. As we look at this card, it's a very radiant card. Um, you're, you're very desirable. Even if you don't feel like you're desirable right at this time, Pisces, your energy is definitely attracting people towards you. You are, in fact, getting noticed. And we see you have really been working to manifest happiness in your life. And as a result, you are, in fact, glowing. You are radiant, radiating um, light. 
and you have come through a lot of different adverse circumstances. So people are also looking at you as they might not understand how wise you are, how learned you are, but you're also here, perhaps you've been in a place of removing yourself away from other people as well. And we have the King of Swords. The King of Swords is masculine, air energy, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. So you may have somebody who is an air sign, a Virgo, or even a water sign interested in you. Again, right now, Pisces, your energy is lit. So you definitely are being noticed, even if you don't notice yourself being noticed. You, people are in fact noticing you at this point in time. What is this five of wands for what Pisces heart needs right now? What is this five of wands for what Pisces heart needs right now? Yeah, so you just want to cut through the bull crap. You're just wanting to cut through the bull crap. You want straight, direct communication. You want to cut off any of the um, passionate wands. Anybody who's coming in, you know, trying to check your oil with a dipstick, you're not really trying to have that. You want something that's going to bring you peace, something that is true and something with good genuine intentions so you know here we see your your heart really needs clarity your heart needs truth forthright communication and somebody who is in fact um going to understand somebody who knows what they want and is able to work for that victory with you because you've had a lot of these wands surrounding you but nothing that really may have had staying power for those of you who have are in a commitment or connection you know this is perhaps wanting to work on your communication with your partner more wanting to have increased clarity and maybe even having more victory in the relationship and connection what is this tower for how pisces can give their heart what it needs what is this tower for how Pisces? Okay, so we have a lot of cards coming out for this tower. The first one we have is a higher fan. Sudden, this is interesting because this is a sudden relationship. This is a sudden commitment. So, you know, I feel for a number of you Pisces, you have really weathered a lot of storms emotionally and in connections. And you have, in fact, as we see with this hermit card, you, you have, some of you have, in fact, been kind of going into your cave or removing yourself from the dating game or from intimate encounters just because you, you've been in the act of healing and self-preservation. And you've had a lot of people maybe swirling around you, but nothing that has pure, genuine energy that you, you really want to hang on to. So here, you know, how you, your heart, how you can give your heart what it needs is, you know, suddenly having a commitment, suddenly saying, you know, maybe it's time for a commitment. Maybe you know, opening yourself up to that possibility. Let's see what else. And then we have the Knight of Wands. So this is change. This is moving somebody coming in. Then the Knight of Pentacles. This is very grounded, very real, feeling something long-term and stable. And somebody who is, in fact, your counterpart, the King of Cups here, having emotional mastery, knowing what they want, and will come towards you to get it, investing in the long-term, you don't want flighty energy. You want something that's very concrete and real and stable. And I think with this tower is how you can give your heart what it needs is, you know, just realizing that this is the type of person or connection that you may in fact desire. What is this three of swords for the person who has a message for Pisces today? Who, what, who and what is this three of swords? Who is this three of swords? We have the five of swords. What, what else is this Three of Swords, please? Yeah, so I'm getting, this person may in fact want a new beginning with you um, or a new beginning in general. If you have not been in connection with this person, they're coming out of a, a situation where they may have been on the losing end of the stick. They may have come out of a divorce or they may have gone through a breakup or some type of difficulty where they were in a position where nothing, they couldn't win no matter what they did. And they're really looking forward to having a new beginning. So this is um, describing the type of situation this person has gone through. Conversely, this can also be that they recognize that they wanna come forward with a new beginning for you and they want to you know, help grow something new in your life because they see that you have definitely had a lot of, a lot of heartache and pain and really, <clears throat> excuse me, perhaps been taken advantage of in the past. 
What is the seven of wands for what the message this person has is for Pisces? What is the seven of wands, please? And we have the knight of swords. So this person, you know, really wants to have courage and wants to rush in. This can also be that they want to communicate their truth. One more card for the seven of wands, please. One more card for the seven of wands, please. One more card for the seven of wands, please, spirit. Yeah, so we're getting the Eight of Wands coming out again. So this is definitely communication. They're wanting to move forward past some type of ending they've had in their life, wanting to put the past behind them and move towards something very stable and foundational. The Four of Wands can be Twin Flame energy, that commitment that they want to have a really grounded connection, something they can celebrate. They're trying to have the courage, though. They've been going through a very difficult time and had a lot of harsh energy that led to an ending here. And they're trying to have, be in their courage to really move forward and come towards you or have communication with you as well here. So this person has been, in fact, working on change um, and, and wants to move past the dark time that they've been going through. What is this Eight of Wands for? What is ahead for Pisces emotionally and in love? What is this Eight of Wands for Pisces, please? What do you want Pisces to... Okay, so we have quite a few cards here. So for this Eight of Wands, for what is ahead for you in Love Pisces. Now this is, remember how we had said shock to the heart for the tower and then literally this Eight of Wands is a shock to the heart. So, but not in a bad way. This is a very beautiful card. The imagery is beautiful. It's light, it's bright. And it's it's like suddenly, suddenly Pisces, you might find somebody who you have a connection with. You know, it might, the Knight of Wands is, is very rapid energy. The Knight of Pentacles is like real foundational energy. And the Seven of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles is long term with emotional stability. And here we have, you know, suddenly your heart is like zapped by the love bug. And then we have the Two of Cups. So sudden union, sudden connection, suddenly coming into um, this partnership or opportunity, you may have been exploring a lot of different options or you may have a little bit of confusion around it, but listen to your intuition. If, if you have multiple different people around you as an option for love or offering you their cup of love, listen to your intuition. If you have any type of question, any type of doubt or any type of, I'm not really sure about them, then say no. It's, that's a clear indicator. Um, and then we have the Queen of Cups, this is, or I stand corrected, the Queen of Pentacles, Feminine Earth Energy, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, this is commitment, this is nurturing, this is very stable, grounded energy with the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, Satisfaction and Abundance, also Pisces Energy, and Four of Swords settling down. So we're seeing here, Pisces, um, the energy of some shifts that may in fact be taking place in your love and emotional space. Spirit, one card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces. One card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces. Thank you. And we have mental conflict. And I feel that this mental conflict card is here, in fact, because of the fact that you have overcome so much adversity in your emotional and love connections. And you may be having concern about going forward in a connection based on the fact that you have definitely gone through difficulties. Let's pull one angel answers. One angel answers for Pisces for this reading, please, Spirit. One angel answers for Pisces for this reading, please, Spirit. One angel answer for Pisces for this reading, please, Spirit. Thank you. And forgiveness. It's very interesting here that the two cards we're getting, Pisces, is mental conflict and forgiveness you know and and i feel that some of you may not all of you but some of you may actually be having mental conflict because some of you may actually need to forgive yourself for holding on to somebody too long for trying to make something work that was really a rotten connection or you know would never work or, or a situation where you knew it wasn't healthy but you held on anyway and as a result, you keep living in that script and that mental conflict of, oh, I'll, I won't find that person. But it's, it's time here to move, to shift your paradigm about emotions and love and relationships and connectedness and not living in what you have experienced, but understand, you know, 
that give yourself enough grace to forgive the other people and to more importantly, forgive yourself and allow yourself to remove that burden of the past connection so you can move forward into something new. This is the message I have for you today, Pisces. God bless.